Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Fox 23 News. I'm Nicole Menner. Our high school game of the week features a hot undefeated team in the Sumerall Bobcats taking on the Richton Rebels, who had a three-game win streak of their own going. Fox 23's Corey Howard has more. Summerall pulls off the win Friday night, and their game plan was pretty simple. Get their star players the ball. Dennis is, is uh, uh, really taking over a leadership role in our offense now. He understands what we're doing. Uh, we made a lot of plays tonight for us, as well as some other guys, too. But uh, he's a dual-threat guy. I mean, he throws the ball well. He obviously runs well. The four-star wide receiver now playing quarterback for Summerall led the Bobcats down the field multiple times early in the first half. Jackson on the quarterback keeper. Capped off by a TD run courtesy of Tyreek Preston. Both Jackson and Preston would finish this game for a combined total of 247 rushing yards. But the Richton Rebels wouldn't show any quit in their system, as Dylan Favre rushes for a touchdown right here. Bobcats leading on the first half 27 to 14. And later, offensive struggles for both teams. Neither team scoring in the third and a lot of penalties for Summerall. I just can't imagine that many, you know, uh, but the personal fouls is really disappointing. Something we've got to address and something we've got to correct. Uh, too many. Despite penalty struggles, the Bobcats score late in the fourth and hold off the Richton Rebels to win 33-20. to Now, Summerall off to a hot start this season, going 5-0, and and they'll look to continue that win streak against the past Christian Pirates next week. I'm Corey Howard reporting from Summerall Fox 23 Sports. All right, well, many Southern Miss fans were disappointed about not playing a game this Saturday after Hurricane Florence forced USM and Appalachian State to cancel Saturday's scheduled game. But that was not the biggest news of the weekend. Southern Miss quarterback Quadra Griggs received the news that he is now reinstated after being suspended for more than one month. And now Coach Hobson says there's a possible position battle that could be heating up. Um, that's something we got to just see how he does this week and watch him close and, and uh, we're going to give him reps and we're going to try to get him back into the groove and uh, we'll see how quickly um, he gets back in, ready to roll and, and again, you know, he's not a genie. You can't just sit out for a month and magically be ready tomorrow, you know what I mean? But we got to see how he does and, and uh, but I know one thing, he's going to compete and work hard to get himself back ready to roll. So again, I'll have a better idea probably Thursday. We also asked if there's a chance that Saturday's game against Appalachian State could be rescheduled, and Coach Hobson said he has no idea. All right, well, if we're being honest with ourselves, we know that the Saints should be 0-2. But the Cleveland Browns are the Cleveland Browns for a reason. The visiting Browns handing the Saints their first win of the season on Sunday after the now ex-Brown kicker Zane Gonzalez missed a pair of field goals and extra points all in the second half as New Orleans used an 18-point fourth quarter to beat Cleveland 21-18. to But afterwards, the vibe, of course, felt more like a loss than a win. Defensively, we played well. Offensively, we, we made way too many mistakes. Um, way too many. Um, missed assignments that shouldn't happen. Um, missed throws. Fumbled the ball again twice at receiver. It was it was not not uh, not a very good performance by us. Um, a ton of missed opportunities. Whether we we miss miss a pass, I miss an open guy um, for a touchdown, or we miss an assignment that otherwise would have continued to drive or gotten us points. The turnovers. I mean, it was just it was really sloppy football. At the end of the day, though, a win is a win. Next Sunday, the Saints will look for another one as they host Atlanta or they visit Atlanta. Excuse me.